Okay, so um, a few items to show you here with Backupify. You'll notice that, of course, I sit as an administrator in my normal Gmail inbox and using the single sign-on service once it's added to uh, Google Apps dashboard um, through the Google Apps Marketplace, we can go uh, to the Backupify um, console. And using the single sign-on as an administrator, I'm logged straight into the system. Um, I can see some notifications and a list of both active and inactive users. So although I've got some alerts uh, on a couple of users here, then I'm not too concerned about them. Although the data is still stored in the service, um, it's giving me notifications that we're not actually backing up um, more data for this user. Um, and again, I know that this user has left the organization. So if I was to be in my mail client, the other thing to notice is if I um, search for let's search for an email from Backupify, and we've got the system configured here to send us a weekly summary. Now, although the data is being um, backed up each individual day. Uh, you'll notice that once a week you will be receiving a weekly summary that highlights what's being backed up um, for each one of our Google services, so mail, calendar, contacts, drive, uh, and Google Sites as well, so effectively all of your Google services. If I am concerned about any of these alerts, I can just click on the notifications and I'll be taken straight into the notification center so I can uh, resolve any issues. And I can see that these users have not been updated since March this year, and that's probably the date that they were actually removed from the system. So I can drill down, and um, we can see that we're not getting any login details. If that was a genuine error, then of course I could re-enable uh, the services from here. Um, but let's go back to our dashboard, and even though that user is disabled, I can still drill down into perhaps mail for that particular user. And uh, I've got some content here, and I can drill into that individual email so I can see the body of that. And if I really wanted to, I could download a copy of this email to my desktop. Of course, I'm unable to use the restore option, and you'll notice that um, when I go in that folder, it's just downloaded the email uh, as a .eml file. So any application that can open .eml files can have access to that. Uh, let's just return back and go back to our list of users there, so the same procedure would exist with all of those um, files there. Let's take this account here that we know is successfully being backed up. We can see that it was actually, in fact, backed up today. I could request um, an export of all the data for all of the Google services in the, in the archive for that particular user, or if I was interested in finding individual uh, items, so let's maybe go to mail and scroll down. For perhaps a user has inadvertently deleted some data. Let's find that um, file that we're looking for, and this time because we've got an active user on Google Apps, we can restore from the backup system directly to the user's mailbox, and notice it's going to put a label on that particular email inside the Gmail inbox. So let's just restore that. Thank you very much. That's That's been restored. So um, it does act as a very easy backup service for all users and for ex-users in the organization as well. The same is true if I decided to go back to any of the other services, whether it's um, calendar or documents. I'm just going to show you an example of restoring some data. Um, to Google Drive. So once again, let's just drill down into the demo user, go to Google Drive, and let's see some of the content that's uh, available here. 
we can see uh, there's a Word file that's been backed up from Google Drive. Because it's Microsoft Word, we obviously don't get a preview. Again, I can download uh, and I can restore that. And again, it's going to put a tag on the Google Drive as a folder label called Restore. That's now been restored to the user's Google Drive um, folder structure. There are various releases of that, um, revisions of that document. So you can see there's an older version of that document. It's not changed. So there is a previous release if I wanted to get that as well. OK, so maybe what we should do, so that, that's the administrator's interface. Um, each user can perform those tasks on their own uh, mailboxes. So if I just switch to a user account, um, because this user is actually provisioned on Google Drive, or, um, sorry, on Backupify, again, you'll notice through the single sign-on option that uh, under the um, More tab, I can choose Backupify, and it's going to authenticate with my um, Google credentials. And this time, because I am logged in only as the demo user, um, I can just see my own content here. So, of course, that's the difference between the administrator it may well be that I've inadvertently deleted or removed um, a calendar entry. So although it's showing me the most recent items here, it's showing how frequently my data is being backed up there. And we can see daily backups going on. I can drill down into some significant detail here. Um, and there's the whole history of the backup items. So let's just go back and maybe search for uh, a particular item in the backup. Um, let's look for uh, an event here. Uh, we've got uh, an event booked with Ray. Grill down, I can see the body of the actual event. And if that's the item that I want to restore, click on the restore button, hit restore. And now that's been sent to a specific calendar uh, inside uh, my calendar. We'll show you that uh, in a moment. So again, I can go to my backups. If I was concerned about losing some data, uh, again, I can go to my contacts, for example. I can see the details of when it's scheduled. Uh, and if I want to force that backup, I can choose to back up it now. Um, so that's me as an end user uh, interacting with my personal backup and archiving system. So uh, if I can't find the data in my um, Google services, I can always find them from the backup system. So if we go to um, Gmail, we'll notice here um, as far as um, our Options are concerned. When I've restored an email to my Google email, I can see that's the email that I've restored. It's got the tag on it, backup if I restore. Uh, and of course, I could, I could choose to remove that. Uh, and that just now behaves uh, like a normal email uh, in my uh, Gmail. So uh, I'll never have to lose uh, an email again. So let's perhaps just go to calendar and as a backup service you'll notice what it's done is that it'll it'll add a new calendar and if we go to uh, the relevant date 15th of September there's that event that we actually restored and I could choose to move this to my personal calendar now and go save so if I now uh, display only this calendar and go back to the 15th, there is that event. Of course, I never actually deleted it from my calendar in the first place, so it's, it's recreated a new event. Um, but rest assured, if I delete any content from uh, my calendar or services, then uh, it's going to be restored. And finally, when we look at Google Drive here, you'll notice that we've got a folder called Backup If I Restore. There's that Word document that we found from the backup system, and I've got a copy of that now, and I can convert that to Google um, format, or I can download it and work with it. Um, 
So it's quite often, you know, 95% of the time, the reason why data is being lost from Google Apps is user error inadvertently deleting uh, the data rather than the Google system. Um, so that's um, an overview of the end user interface. So both administrators can manage all of their users on the system. It's really, really easy to add a new user. Again, it immediately would find all users in your Google Apps system. Um, so let's select those users, add them to our backup service, and go save. So we've got a couple of new starters there and the client account that we're using. Um, we just wait for the system to refresh. Um, so it's really going through the various APIs, uh, and we've got a success message there at the top. And we can now see that the two new users have been added to our um, list of um, users that are being backed up directly in the Backupify system. So the peace of mind and the ease of use, very, very easy to use it as an administrator and being able to um, find the content here, being able to search across um, the service as well being able to find users or individual content. And you can see that um, Fascist details are being backed up there. I could remove the account or request a zip file of all of that data. So all of that can be added in um, a very short space of time to back up either all your existing users in the system or only those that you then want to delete um, from your Google Apps subscription and reduce um, the number of subscriptions that you're actually paying for. So that's the end of the um, Backupify for Google Apps demo.